Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black for this little reflection and look back on some of the best moments of the season at home as that's all done and dusted. I'll do the same thing next week when all the away games are done as well. Although I think probably the uh, everybody's most memorable moment away from home has already happened. I can't see that happening at Sunderland. But I've asked some of my subscribers and friends and family to contribute to this video as well so you'll see a few clips of them before I give my uh, memory at the end of the video. So here they are, we've got Dave Azapardi, Gulraj Kular from Molyneux Musings, we've got uh, Dazzling Dave and we've got Catherine and Naomi. So yeah, I've been asked to do this video by Tom the Old Golden Black uh, about my favourite home moment this season at the Molyneux now. It's so, so difficult, we've had so many great moments. It's probably my first year as a you know, as someone that understands football greatly, where my first year seeing some great football really. So um, I probably would have said that win against Aston Villa, 2-0 win. You know, we were sort of heading towards the midpoint of the season. We played a lot of teams and that game almost, you know, I was nervous before that, but we destroyed Villa and it almost said to me, you know, this, this team can go places. Uh, obviously, we did exactly that, but I think the moment that tops it all for me has got to be Mr. Ruben Neves, his goal against Derby, that was absolutely ridiculous. No, it didn't... Uh, it doesn't surprise me, you know, with Nuno and the way that we've played this season. And, and Nevers has cracked in some fantastic goals already. And, you know, just the week before he put one in uh, against Cardiff. But for us to, you know, the ball comes to him. The touch, I mean, I knew what he was trying to do, but I don't think it went where he probably would have wanted to. His back was to goal. The ball was so far away from him. And the way he gets the control on it to loop it over the goalkeeper... It was literally pinpoint. I don't think two or three goalkeepers could have saved it. And it will be very, very hard for us to see any goal as good as that as at the Molly. And that's why it's my best home moment. Because, you know, it was one of those you had to be there moments. And one that will live in, in the memories forever. One that will be on YouTube in 10 years' time still coming up. Um, a fantastic goal. Uh, I think if that was in the Premier League or against Manchester United or whatnot, you know... It would be, I mean, it was global news, but it would be absolutely massive. So hopefully you can t continue to, hopefully we keep hold of Ruben next year. But yeah, for me, that goal, just that goal. Thinking about my favourite moment at Molyneux this season is probably a bit easier than I first thought it might be. Basically because I think a lot of our sort of highlights have been quite routine. We've been very quietly efficient, just picking up results as we go. Um, so standout moments are actually... Probably more few and far between than you'd imagine. Um, I mean, you think about Sheffield United and the amazing goals that we scored against them. Um, you know, obviously Ruben Neves, his goal. Unfortunately, I wasn't there for that. But I'm going to go back to October. Um, Wolves versus Aston Villa. And probably the moment of the season from my perspective. It was a bit of a watershed for me. Um, when Leo Bonatini picked up the second goal of that game. We dominated that game up to that point. But I think... Um, that goal just kind of summed up us as a team. You know, there was the, the quick counter-attack. I, I love it, especially the way that Diogo Jota basically just circumvented John Terry, you know, and it um, made absolute mugs of Aston Villa as a team. You know, really a team that were obviously touted as highly as we were. People really sort of, you know, talking them up as potential champions and we made them look really really ordinary and you know by operating in a totally different manner today that to them um, in terms of you know obviously not going down the championship experience route um but it also highlights that moment the importance of a player that i think people have been guilty of having a bit of a short memory of and uh, leo bonatini was you know he's been sort of outcast a little bit in recent months you know people have castigated him for his recent performances but it just goes to show you what confidence can do for a player and I'd also say that, you know, going into that game, he didn't even start that game. He came on as a half-time substitute and really made a big difference. And at that point of time, he was the only striker that we had. Uh, you know, he was really the sort of absolute fulcrum of the team at the time. And Diogo Jota's really good form at the start of the season. A lot of it was down to him. He was in his own rich vein of form as well. And, you know, it was just an epic, epic moment that I think, you know, was a bit of a watershed for the team and gave the fans, the club, the hierarchy, the management, the players themselves every confidence to say that they are going to be the best team in the league this season. Right, for me, I think that this season has been absolutely incredible. Loads of memories um, 
at home particularly um, for Wolves. I think when we really started to believe and we, we sat in our seats in the North Bank, watched the football and just couldn't believe what we were seeing when Nuno was making substitutions, bringing Cavalero on, being so um, having, having so much impact. And particularly for me, the, the moments that stand out were when we beat Leeds 4-1. And we followed that with a 5-1 victory at Molyneux um, over Bolton. Um, and it was just brilliant. So that November, December period were really, really instrumental in us becoming champions. Hi, it's um, Dave here from uh, Dazzling Dave YouTube channel. Um, nice to be asked to be featured on the old gold and black uh, about my best memories, really, of the season uh, that's just gone past this. Obviously... <laughs> so many memories uh, and so many experiences i think we can all relate to in terms of my um, main home thing i think the first match of the season when we beat middlesbrough one nil was a big statement but also the goal that ruben neves scored um unbelievable worldy i actually got a caught a video of that that's on my channel um for the north bank and that was great the fans have been amazing all year the the, the management have been brilliant, the owners have been backing us and I do believe that this is the start of Wolves' second golden age and things are only just going to get better from here. This season was my first as a season ticket holder in the North Bank and what a season it was. With the amount of goals I'm sending off in the first few months to Neves' stunner against Derby. I've been caught up in the crowds under the subway and engulfed by flares but my favourite moment of the season has to be Woody's assist against Bolton. When he collected the ball, saw Jota in space and released it quickly for Jota to make easy work of putting the ball in the back of the net. My favourite moment, there have been so many. Goals, subtle touches, Connor Cody's long range passes out to the wings and playing the ball out of defence. But for me, the best part of the season was the level of performance against Villa at home. After a very cynical start to the season on my part, that game made me believe that this season might actually be different. Neves has scored six goals this season and none of them have been tappings, but as everyone will agree, the best one was his worldie against Derby. For me, this was the best moment in the season at home ever. Thank you for those contributions. If ever you want to send in a video, just drop it to me in a direct message on Twitter or email it to me in the links in the description below. All the other YouTube channels that have just been featured there, you can find down below as well. So my favourite moment at home this season, I've tried over the last couple of days to think of a quite left field one because I did anticipate a number of people to say the Villa game or the uh, Neves goal against Derby. So I was trying to think of a unique one. So I was thinking of perhaps uh, Oscar Boer Rasmussen's goal um, against Hull, which I think was a really unique goal for such a young player to score. Such an important part of the season to score a goal like that was uh, really, really unheard of and unique. And I really enjoyed that moment. I also enjoyed Andai's last minute goal against Barnsley really early on in the season. I think that showed early on the character of the team and being able to pick out wins when they really weren't deserved. There were the two games uh, in November against Leeds and against Bolton that were just so easy against two teams we've struggled against in the past. They were highlights for me as well. But for me, I'm going to be... I'm going to pick quite a personal one for me and it's not it wasn't an amazing game by any stretch but it, and Dazzling Dave alluded to it as well about how it set up the season the game against Middlesbrough but for me the last two years before this season that I went to probably 10 games over those two years in the 15-16 in the uh, season I didn't go to a single game at all which is the first time I think I've done that since I was about five years old or something so the the Middlesbrough game for me, and even the week before the game against Leicester, where I just felt part of the Wolves again, and it was not it, it was an emotional time for me on a, a personal level. But just being back in Wolverhampton and being back at the Molyneux, and then to win that game, um, really just it made me very 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 happy. And then as the season has gone on, then there have been so many other moments which have made me feel really glad to just be back and this promotion now is the first time as well that I've had a promotion well I've seen Wolves promoted and not not be thinking about well I'm going off to university next year or uh, I might be leaving to go to Wales or something there's, there's always been something at the end of each promotion where I haven't felt like 
I'm going to really enjoy it. But this one has felt like the start of something rather than the end of something. So that's that's a major, major thing for me. So although it's not a magic moment or a specific amazing thing for me, that Middlesbrough game, I think I'll always remember how special that made me feel. So just to finish off as well, I had a couple of tweets answering this question as well uh, from some of my followers on Twitter. Uh, one from Thomas Gibbons, brother-in-law to the Stars. Uh, Neves' goal against Derby for sure. Leeds' performance was up there with the best I've ever seen. Uh, Matt Cook, for me, when Jota slammed in the first against Villa, just confirmed our total dominance in that game. Complete control, a statement victory. And then Kavan Smart says, got to be that Neves' goal versus Derby. Let me know your favourite home moment and why in the comments section down below. If you have been abroad, I know I've got a lot of people from Australia and other places in the world who have watched the Wolves all season on their Wolves TV player. What was your favourite home moment? Uh, which What had you jumping out of your seats in the middle of the night down under or wherever you've been watching? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching today and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you later in the week for a preview of the Sunderland game. Bye-bye.